Another member of the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2015 is Rikishi. The 400-pound Samoan captured the hearts of the WWE Universe with his bleach blonde hair, sunglasses, and unmatched dance moves. And Rikishi is fat, all right? P-H-A-T. The charismatic big man used his size and unique moveset to disarm his opponents. No, no, not this! Yeah! Three, oh! Rikishi made his mark in an era that was defined by attitude, and no man represented that more than Stone Cold Steve Austin. Give me a hell yeah! But at the 1999 Survivor Series, during the peak of his popularity, Austin was targeted by an unknown assailant. The brutal attack would put Austin out of action for nearly a year with a neck injury. During his absence, Commissioner Mick Foley conducted his own investigation and finally came to a shocking conclusion. I did it. I did it for The Rock. We were always held back. And I'm talking about High Chief Peter Maivia, Alpha and Sika. They were all held back. Misguided, Rikishi's admiration for The Rock soon turned to rage as the Great One refused to support Rikishi's actions. The Rock wants nothing to do with you. So, Rikishi, stay out of The Rock's life. What are you doing, Rikishi? What's wrong with you? I thought The Rock was like family to Rikishi. The Rock's got to do what The Rock's got to do, whether you like it or not. Oh, look at the two were on a collision course towards Survivor Series. My God, don't do it! That's Rikishi! Rikishi just struck The Rock! See you at Survivor Series with your punk ass. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, weighing 424 pounds, Rikishi! Rikishi, the man that ran over Stone Cold one year ago, right here at the Survivor Series in a plan well orchestrated by the game. And speaking of the game, he and Austin will get it on later on tonight. And much like this one, it's going to be incredibly personal. If you smile, the rock is hey, look, look, look. There's the, the great one. The Rock and Rikishi oh. one on one. And man, this damn thing is personal, King. I can tell you that. You're right about that, Rock. He's, he's like a wounded animal right now. He wants to end this thing early. And Rikishi, ah! Oh, my God, what elevation. Man, oh, man. Oh, The Rock. Great, great elevation on a near 400 pound Rikishi. And now the great one is looking for something. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, Rock. Not that, not that chair, you get disqualified. Wait a minute, look out! Oh! And the referee unarms the Rock from that, from that steel chair. And this match will continue one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, no! Oh, Rikishi with a straight super kick that caught Rock right in the face, it looked like. I'm gonna tell you, this is exactly opposite of what Rock was hoping for. It was just last Monday night when Triple H drove that black car with Rikishi hanging out the window. Rikishi then proceeded to hit the rock right in the
the sternum with a sledgehammer. Yeah, but it could have been a lot worse, JR. I actually think that Triple H would have run the Rock over if he'd had the chance. You might be right, King, but the point remains. I don't think the Rock is 100% tonight. Maybe this is not the best time for this match to happen. And that's why they call it high risk, folks. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. A very clever move. What a smart athlete. Wow, he did not expect that to happen. A few moves are as effective as a well-executed DDT. He may be trying to systematically chop his opponent down, starting at the bottom. Whoa. He's got him hooked. Clearly not afraid to stick around with a good thing here. He's showing no signs of letting up. I'm not sure I can watch this. Reversal. Rikishi showing his skills. Four. No, oh, wait. Nice reversal. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Uh-oh. Outside. I don't like it out here. Oh, my God. The referee just got wiped out. Somebody call his family. The man's got a family, you know, damn it. Well, he don't know where he is right now. He's locationally challenged, JR. Well, well we don't need a match with... The Rock and Rikishi without an official. This thing could get out of hand and nasty and dirty. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Look at Rikishi. What's he got? What? Oh, no. Sledgehammer. What? Listen to that sledgehammer. My God almighty. Can you only imagine the damage that can be done with a sledgehammer? Oh, my gosh. Come on, Rikishi. Don't do this. Come on, Rikishi. You know better than this. We need some help out here. This is not going to be good. Don't turn around, Rock. The Rock can barely stand. You're not going to like the view. Oh, no. Rikishi swinging for the fences. Wait a minute. Oh, the Rock with the right hand. The Rock right to the temple has addled Rikishi. Oh, no. A oh, Rock bottom. The Rock bottom. How do you Rock bottom a 420-pounder just like that? Only the Rock. Nice counter. Bam! When he gets going like this, there are a few better. Watch it! Well, thanks for coming. There may be no fighting. Can he take? Let's oh, the Rock's getting with us be enough. Yes! The Rock wins it. Man, what a battle. What a battle. The Rock is spent after that war with the Here is your winner. Oh, man, JR. This is unbelievable. What a win for The Rock. How did The Rock do it? How did he survive this 420-pound man? And The Rock is having a hard time. Uh, Gaining his equilibrium. Well, you're right about that. I'm afraid just from looking at the rock, he may never be the same after this. Rock could have some internal damage here. I don't want to speculate. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, the super kick. Right to the face from the 420 pounder. Wait a minute. I thought this match was over. This match is over. Come on. Hey, Ref, the match is over. No. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Not this. No. Not the. No. Come on. Oh, my. The bonsai drop. That's a whole lot of ass fall right on the chest.
420 pounds for Not again. Oh. Good grief. Rest stuck in there. Put the rock out of harm's way. And yeah, we got to get some help out here. Yeah. Well, sense of urgency, fellas. There's two bonsai drops. Wait, 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 wait. He's going up again, JR. Hey. The rock's going to be. The rock's careers. The rock's careers in jeopardy here. Thanks to Rikishi. What the hell is wrong with Rikishi? Oh, he's lost it. But you don't know. That cost you. It, come on. Get the security out here. Rikishi snapped, JR. Bonsai drops. Now the referees are being assaulted. And the rock has, by the way, if you're keeping the score at home, the rock has won the match. Yeah, but not the war. Now what? A three bonsai drops. What do you want now, Rikishi? What is it you haven't done? No, no, no. Not another one. What kind of human being is Rikishi? Oh, my goodness. That's enough. That is absolutely enough. This year, we celebrate the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2015. 350 pounds of rough shaking. Kevin Nash is just who we All have earned their place in history, but one Hall of Famer personified the meaning of being one of the most recognized and passionate performers in WWE history. Ooh, yeah! The Macho Man Randy Savage, one of the all time greats ladies and gentlemen from his show stealing performances as intercontinental champion to his remarkable reign as wwe world champion macho man randy savage made his mark in sports entertainment like no one else before and i think that the spotlight should go on top because i am macho man randy savage and with the first lady of wwe miss elizabeth by his side the charming couple captured the hearts of the WWE Universe worldwide. Entering a career versus career match at WrestleMania 7, Savage adopted a new attitude, which caused the couple to grow apart. Despite the circumstances, Miss Elizabeth's devotion to the Macho Man remained. And even though Savage's in-ring career ended that night, the Macho Man still came out a winner in the end. She loves him! She's loved him from the beginning! In true Macho Man fashion, he came out a true winner. After the dramatic scenes of WrestleMania, the WWE Universe waited with bated breath in anticipation of the big question. Elizabeth, will you marry me? Oh, yeah! And under the lights, in a match made in heaven, their storybook wedding was sealed with a kiss. But what seemed like a fairy tale ending soon turned into a nightmare. <laughs> the dastardly actions of Jake the Snake Roberts would emotionally scar Elizabeth. The cold and calculated mind games began to take its toll on the Macho Man. He was forced to helplessly watch from commentary as the snake spewed his venom. Here's a man who used to be a real man, but obviously he's grown a little soft hiding behind the skirt of a woman. Savage could not sit idly by and would confront Jake the Snake Roberts to defend the honor of his wife. After careful consultation with the macho man Randy Savage and his doctor, it is my decision that he be reinstated immediately and that a match between Randy Savage and Jake Roberts be sanctioned, which will be this coming Tuesday night in Texas. The stage was set. No snakes, no more mind games. Randy Savage and Jake Roberts would settle the score at this Tuesday in Texas. in the heart of Texas. It's going to be Jake the Snake Roberts and Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, I'm looking forward oh, to it. Wait a minute. What's from behind? Oh. And Jake Roberts.
Elvis just got introduced to the ring post. And Randy Savage in a hurry to get this one started, JR. Savage, Roberts, no love lost between these two men. And they both can be very, very dangerous. Both are inherently very evil, oh. quite frankly. I'm gonna tell you something. Randy Savage is taking it to, ooh, Jake the Snake. Look at those left hands. And look at that pepper uh, snake. You know, those barbecue snake, but the pepper snake with those left jabs and a rick of the eyes. Savage throwing the roof up right out the window here in Texas. I'm gonna tell you, Jake the Snake, he didn't know what hit him. Randy Savage on him from behind, and it's been all Savage so far. Look at this. Oh. Irish whip, reverse elbow. Down goes Jake the Snake Robert, who was in big time trouble here. Randy Savage looking to oh, Savage looking to end this murder game. Oh boy. High risk. One up top. Macho Man. Oh, look out. Ooh. Can you dig it? The Macho Man with a double sledge on Jake the Snake Roberts. Here comes Macho to deal out some more pain. Another sledge in the back of the head. And a straight right hand. Big right hand by Macho Man Randy Savage. And Jake can't get far enough away from the Macho Man. What a vendetta we have here. This is for all the marbles. And for Randy Savage, this is for retribution. This is for his lovely wife, Elizabeth. Yeah, and you can bet Randy Savage hasn't forgotten about that 14-foot King Cobra gnawing on his arm. To your point, King, you can see that Savage's arm, Whoa. his left arm, by the way, is heavily bandaged. You'd have to think that Roberts sees that as a target. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. Oh, out of nowhere! <laughs> Tremendous reversal. So much damage being done to those ribs. Well, out here, you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. I'm not sure I can watch this. Four! Look at that reversal. Wow, he did not expect that to happen. After a move like that, he's going to need a chiropractor in the near future. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. And he's headed back in. Nicely done. All they got here, JR. Jake, reversal. Jake Roberts reverses, Savage reverses, and uh oh, oh, referee dots a bullet there. You're not kidding. Ooh, look at that knee. Jake Roberts got the knee right in the face of the macho man, Randy Savage. Can you dig it? Ooh, yeah. Oh, look out here. Jake Roberts trying to get control of this thing. Wow. A roundhouse. Sweeping clothesline. And now look at Jake Roberts. Yeah. He knows he's in control. Yeah, but don't waste any time on the Macho Man. And Jake Roberts losing valuable time after gaining the advantage. Is he signaling for the DDT? Yeah, I'm afraid he is. This is going to be bad for the Macho Man. One DDT and it's over. Oh, yeah. Savage trying to fight his way back up, showing a lot of guts and courage. And there it is, front face lock in. Oh, this is going to be bad for my wall. Oh, man, what impact. That may have busted some ribs there. Oh, no kidding. Macho Man saved himself. Here's... And look at this. A three count, and Macho Man has won this match with, with only one arm, JR. Yeah, that Cobra bit Savage in the arm, and Savage still came back and won the match with one arm. Absolutely amazing. One on one matchup. Oh, you're right around that. What a battle. But there you see it. Macho Man. Victorious. Randy Macho Man Savage. If you can dig it, he can dig it. 
but there's a man that got it done. Jake the Snake Roberts has Savage. Now, wait a minute. Look at this. What's going on here? I think Savage wants a little more of Jake the Snake. Savage got the ring bell. Oh, no. What time is it? Ref, get that bell. Yeah, it's a dangerous weapon. Get that bell, Ref. Oh, look out, look out. Oh, DDT. Oh, my. A thunderous DDT by Jake the Snake Roberts, who has lost this match fair and square to Randy Savage. But Jake Roberts retaliating with an illegal DDT because it came after the match. I think Jake Roberts is saying, I might have lost the battle, but I'm going to win this war. Well, certainly the snake, Jake the Snake, that is, has left uh, the Macho Man with something to think about. This uh, rivalry, King, is far from over, quite frankly. Yeah, you can tell by the look of